this tutorial is to help you install Google Leanback or Google TV on your Xiaomi Mi Box MDZ16AA. Now be careful, the, the 16 version AA is the Xiaomi Mi Box running a Chinese uh, version of Android. It's useless if you saw an AA at the end, don't buy it on eBay. Unfortunately, I bought it, but I didn't know about this uh, software install on it. Anyway, this tutorial will help you install Google TV on it and uh, some useful app. But you won't get the full experience of a Google TV box, unfortunately. It's uh, complicated and it uh, gives me a lot of headache and uh, eventually I give up. I just... Uh, got this far and uh, I thought I would like to share this what I did with the, on YouTube and you, as you can see we have the lean back launcher installed and a few apps and it's rooted and later when I finish the tutorial I will log into my Google account and install a couple of other apps and uh, you will see it fully running right now it's only supporting English and the Chinese and Vietnamese the keyboard support only the uh, support only English and maybe German and Russian does not support any other languages. You can change to English or Russian here, and if you need special characters in German or in French, you can press a long hold on it to use it. The voice uh, search doesn't work, unfortunately. I didn't know why. I tried everything, but it just don't work. And uh, also Netflix app don't work either. And uh, Google Play Movies don't work either. So let's get started. First thing you need a laptop. A A to A USB cable like this one. You can either buy it or made it yourself. I made it myself using two USB cables and connect them together. The second thing you need, you need to download this folder, I will have a link in the description. You need is a um, USB hub and a wireless mouse or USB mouse and thumb drive. Right now I'm connecting the laptop to the TV. In the description you'll find a link to these two folders. The first one is a recovery and the second one is the recovery enabler. We are using TWRP recovery method. You need to do is look up under the, your TV box and uh, you'll need to get the serial number for it and change what's, uh, see here we have this serial number underneath the TV box. You need to copy this and uh, in the recovery folder you will get to backups and then here you will see a, ser a serial number you just need to change to your TV here it's the match my TV box you need to change it to yours then you will need to get this folder on a thumb drive as I have it here after that you will need to go to your TV box and you need to enable USB debugging or as you can see it here ADB debugging right now it's denied so you just need to press allow and you need to restart it after it restart you need to connect the USB cable to the TV box and the other end to your laptop like this uh, if you saw here any um, any permission asking for USB debugging, do you allow this laptop or do you allow this machine to connect by USB debugging, just click allow or yes. Right now I I'm already did this so it won't show up here. Here on your laptop, you'll need to go back to the folder you just downloaded and you need to go to TWRP recovery. Then you need to wait to uh, see here on your laptop uh, the Xiaomi Mi Box. Also very important, you need to have uh, Android uh, ADB drives uh, installed on your uh, 
machine and because um, otherwise it won't recognize it because it's connected as a DVD device and you can see here I guess it's connected now let me just show okay so now it's connected it's telling me like me box is uh, connected so you need to run install recovery dot bat not the adb dot exe install recovery dot bat when you run this it's a self-written script for this tv box it will search for it and uh, it will execute a command to install uh, twrp recovery and reboot to recovery on the tv box also i forgot to mention uh, you will need to be running uh, the version of 1.3 or 1.4 on this TV box to use this me method okay now it's uh, put it to recovery so at this point we need to disconnect and connect our thumb drive with the USB stick so it's connected and the mouse is working first we need to s allow modification so no problem and then we need to click restored no so uh, uh, after we connect the thumb drive the backup it doesn't show up here so what we need to do is click reboot and then recovery so if we click restore select storage USB and there it is at first we need to wipe so we click on can go back we click on wipe you can use these navigation keys here click on wipe then advanced wipe then we select um, the RT cache the cache we don't select system data internal storage don't select the micro SD it will be all or it will format the USB stick we wipe the data we go back back again again then restore select this and notice here it has the serial number for the, this TV and we click swipe to restore or we swipe to restore this method will take like around five or ten minutes depend on the uh, usb f speed well, i'll pause this video right now and go back when it's finished okay now it's finished we can click reboot to system and it will reboot and hopefully you will get the good android version of this box okay now it's uh, finished booting and uh, right now um, the tv the remote doesn't work so you need to press the back key and the menu key together until you hear this sound right now it does it did it automatically but if it didn't work this sound will uh, connect the remote to to the TV and now the remote work so you will get this app of course the TV box is uh, rooted and uh, you have here this uh, app I already installed it it's called TV boot in case you need to uh, reboot to recovery you can reboot it here if you click the menu button on the remote you will get to the recent apps and you can clear it here and if you click and hold you will get to the uh, system the uh, the first system of the uh, Xiaomi Mi box here's the settings for Android and here's the Google Play Store and YouTube Right now, I'll log into my account and uh, show you what it can do. Okay, now it's connected to my Play Store account. And I'll install a couple of apps and uh, show you what this TV box can do and cannot do after this ROM. So. For games, 
uh, it can run across your world, road but uh, unfortunately it don't run any other games and the thing is the accelerometer on the remote it's still working the everything is working except the middle d-bed button and the reason the reason I don't know what's the problem it's an issue between uh, the TV apps and the box is running Android 5.1 and uh, it should be running uh, Android TV not the normal Android so I guess it's the problem between this button and here so when you install any other games you need to click in menus click OK to start the game or something but you cannot do that unless you have connected a mouse or a keyboard or a gamepad then you can use the remote to play any games you want I have tested many games all of them work great uh, for the apps, Spotify work great, YouTube work awesome here. Um, I have set up for all my apps and the stuff I usually use on my TV. And I'll show you what it can do. So um, as I said before, I will tell you first the downside. The downside for it, it don't run Netflix or Google uh, Movie uh, and uh, most of the games won't work. However, uh, here we have Crossy Road. It will work because uh, you can use the arrow keys to move, but you, you don't need to use the OK button or the center d -bat. It's a lot of fun on a big TV. And so if we go back, we exit the game, and we see what else we can do. Uh, YouTube works perfectly, of course, without the voice search. That's a big downside, but. Uh, Let's try some Do I need to try the game? Is that Here we can choose the quality I'm gonna go for 1080p This is what my TV support We were playing video and hit the home button and we started playing in the background. You can see Spotify. So we have live channels if you install there are many apps in the Google Play Store so you can use uh, live TV including IBTV here we have live TV then TV and uh, let's go back As you can see, it's um, got a little bit sluggish, so we can clear all the apps. Last thing, it will run Kudi, of course, perfectly, but uh, the best app is Plex. Plex is awesome on it. It will work flawlessly. It can run uh, 4K videos from your um, 
server or a PC, but it will need uh, much stronger internet connection or wireless connection. Here's my library. Resume. TV show. And I guess that's it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment and I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching and if you found this tutorial helpful don't forget to press the like button.